looking like an MVP. The Arizona Cardinals snap an eight-game losing streak to the Rams with a statement win at SoFi and now are in the driver's seat in the toughest division in football. Here's the man of the hour. I understand the the you know hype around this game, a uh, division game, haven't beaten them, all that stuff. Every game is important, and that's how I see it, and that's how the guys in the locker room see it. So um, this isn't the Super Bowl. Um, we're not going to treat it as such. Um, you know, like I said, we came here today, executed, um, and that was, you know, that's that. I like that bummer. Uh, Dan, oh, Dan Arlovsky, how we doing? Good to see you, sir. I'm doing well. It's great to see you guys. Stephen A. got the bone and filet on, I see. I like that. Well, uh, uh, don't hate my brother, Mr. Orange Crush. Watch yourself. Because that's this how I look. Rust. I don't know what the hell you're wearing. That's this how I is look. I know I look good and it's appropriate because I'm in L.A. I'm yeah. in L.A. rocking what we're, I rock. We're a little, we're a little okay. summertime we good. over here. But Dan, it was 90 good. degrees Dan, here I, yesterday. I, I, Dan, I see the fall field. <laughs> right. I'm with you. We're just clashing. Yeah. Exactly. Today. We'll work on that when we're back in That's New right. York. That's right. Uh, Hold on. By the way, to the producers, let me put on my producer hat for a second. Okay. To the producers, the director specifically, be careful about putting Molly on a split screen with Dan. It ain't your fault. You look lovely. Uh, but the combination oh, of your clashing? outfit with Dan yeah. and that arm, Matt, out, me I mean, it. you might we blind still look the viewers. Good. So let's be we very still look clear. Good. Let's yeah. be very, very clear. We All got right. this. That's right. Uh, Stephen A., I'll yes. start with you. Is Arizona the best team right now? I think after week four, you can, you can legitimately say that at this particular moment in time. I didn't think that was the case last week. I was looking at the Los Angeles Rams after their big-time victory, but – to watch Arizona manhandle them the way that they did yesterday, I don't think there's any way around it. You've got this kid, uh, Chase Edmonds, that averaged 10 yards yeah, a carry. Right. you got James Conner from the Pittsburgh Steelers in a better situation right now. And obviously, in short yardage situations, he's their go-to guy. He's got two touchdowns yesterday. You look at the combination of DeAndre Hopkins along with A.J. Green, who's been resurrected. And you see the multitude of weapons that they have with them, not to mention Max Williams. Let's not forget about him. But then I got to come to ultimately Kyler Murray. And what this brother is doing right now, I mean, when are we going to stand up and take notice? I'm yeah. looking at Kyler Murray put on an absolute show. The man has already thrown for over 1,200 yards this in the first four games. He's completing better than 75% of his passes. They're undefeated at 4-0. They've scored at least 31 points in every single game they've played thus far this season. And, oh, by the way, their defense looks better as well. So when I look at the balance, when I look at the fact that you've got playmakers on, a, on the offensive side, and then I look at a guy that's a, an incredible dual threat at the quarterback spot, despite how miniature he is in height, I'm looking at it from that perspective, and I'm saying, look the hell out. The Arizona Cardinals are coming. That's not something that I ever wanted to say. Yeah. Because my attitude with Kingsbury, just so you know, playmaker and Olavsky, I've always been, and you know this about me, Molly, Kingsbury might do a great job. I think he's doing a great job right now. I don't think there's any denying that. Mm -hmm. And I wish him nothing but the best. I just hated the fact that he got the job what coming out of it? Texas Tech because you were there for six years. <laughs> you didn't prove much, but you land an NFL head coaching job and you bypass so many qualified candidates. But there's no escaping the job that he's doing right now yeah. and that he deserves credit for it as well. It's special to see, and the Arizona Cardinals look as if they have arrived. Michael, before you jump in, let me say one thing quickly. Do you remember we had Kyler Murray on the set, Steve yes. A, when he was being drafted, and yes. all the talk was about his height? Yeah, could from Atlanta really, during right. the Super Bowl. Yeah, could could right, right, he right. really perform with his height? I mean, at 5'10", and he, he's proven, He wasn't worried about it at all. No, he was not, and, and he's proven folks wrong. Yeah. Right, and, and, and I understand, Stephen A., uh, your pushback on the way that all transpired. Now, if they had known they were going to get Kyler Murray and then pointed out and said, hey, I want this guy because he has this offense, I'm yeah. going to hire him, and taking that reverse, then maybe you say, okay, yeah. because you, you wanted to invest in the asset of the first pick of the draft right. because the marriage between these two is obviously a great marriage. Right. It's now. obviously a great marriage. Well, right. we can see it. Right. If somebody had the foresight to see it prior to us seeing it, and we can see it now, but mm -hmm. said with that talent and that offense – we can bring it, then I, I, would, I, I wouldn't have an issue with them seeing it that way. Now, I love what Arizona is doing. I love what they're doing. And, Stephen, you talked about it. You talked about the players, man. A.J. Green, that 41-yard touchdown yesterday, A.J. Green, looked like the old A.J. Green. Yep. I mean, he looked like money again. You can see the excitement in his face again playing football and playing football in a place where he knows he has a chance going and doing something farther. But still – I look at the people that they have played. You, they beat Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They just lost to the Jets. Yeah, 
Right. Yeah. They, beat Tennessee. They, they, beat, they beat Jacksonville. They you lose know, to everybody. Right, 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 right. Okay. You, you, you. Now, they got this great win on their record. Yep. They got this great win. And, 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 and that's a good win. But they consistently play with the top teams. There were so many opportunities missed. And I know we're talking about the Rams, and I'll save that for the Rams. There were so many opportunities missed in that game. Oh, my God. He, Matthew Stafford missed everybody in that game. Why? I know why he did it, too. Oh, you got, you got some insight that yeah, we don't uh, know? Uh, you not, not that you don't know that you didn't bring up, but it's all right. Go ahead. I'm, here to, help, mean, you, I'm you, here to help you. Are you trying <laughs> to say, oh, the defense took out <laughs> no. Cooper Cup? Well, well, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, Michael, yeah. you're saying Arizona but, is not the best team. I, I, I'm saying we don't have enough intel. Okay. You're, on, <laughs> you're, you're, you're saying we're going off of it, and I, and I like what Arizona's doing right yeah. now. But, but, but will I say I'm taking Arizona and making Arizona top team? <laughs> no, not right now. So not we got right now. I, I, the count. I, 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 we got, have oh, we got enough to intel. Well, we got enough intel. We got enough intel. I'm telling you about it. Why are you coming into the fence, Molly? No, why are you you beat Tennessee, you Minnesota, you and Jacksonville. You can't be on the show and preach resume and competition right. every time, and then right, Michael right. brings it up. And oh, you yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's yes, why I can hold you accountable, Mr. Smith. Excuse me, you hold me accountable for everything. Oh, my God. You hold me accountable for everything. I'm happy I set the beat on Saturday. Thank you for You hear with him every day, and you see. And he yeah. feel this stuff he's spitting every yeah. day, and sometimes I'm gone. So you know yeah. what he puts down, exactly. and don't let him. Dan Olavsky, what's up? Don't let him retract. Dan well, the great, the, the great Michael Irvin, the playmaker, references like someone else may have seen this coming before, potentially others. And I wish there was this show that maybe recorded things that people said that you could bring back from a couple <laughs> weeks ago to prove to people that maybe there was someone that tried to tell you guys that this was a legitimate thing for the Arizona Cardinals. So you got the pieces around a quarterback that looks special, a coach that's starting to maybe get it when it comes to like the scheme of an offense, and a defense that can get after it. I expected Tennessee to be somewhat representative of they were for the past two years, replacing a new head, or a play caller. I get all that. Right, right, right. But when I watched that game yesterday, I go, that doesn't look like a team that might contend in their division. That looks like a team if they continue to play like that, and that quarterback is that unstoppable. They look like a team that can represent the NFC and go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> huh? I don't How about that one? I, How yeah. about that <laughs> one, Stephen A? Two um, I, I, okay. I think it's hard. I it think is. it's hard to sit here and, there's, and, and point to say that there's a team better than Arizona right now. Um, what we've seen from this football team is a defense that takes the football away. J.J. Watt's playing great in the run game. Byron Murphy has stepped up in the secondary as a big-time playmaker. You guys mentioned A.J. Green. Here's the thing that Arizona does as good offensively, if not better than everybody. They make you defend every blade of grass on the football field. So we're talking about a defense that could take the ball away a little bit, right? Like, maybe they're not going to be dominant all the time, but if they could be opportunistic and create turnovers and create interceptions and create fumbles, then we're turning it back to an offense that, again, Forces you to go 53 and a third, sideline to sideline. We got to cover every aspect of it. Yeah. And then they've got the vertical game as well. You know, Kyler from the pocket, this is the jump. This is the Josh Allen 2020 jump. That move right there by Kyler was absolutely outrageous, by the way. That 2020 jump that we saw from Josh Allen, we're really watching it kind of play itself out by Kyler with Kyler Murray. He's incredible from the pocket right now. I don't need to go on national television and rave about what he's doing outside of the pocket, right. the cute stuff and the, the great athleticism outside the pocket. He's as good from the pocket as anybody in football right now. AJ, th like They've got so many of these different weapons. They can run the football as well. It's, this is a very, very uh, borderline complete football team. And, yeah, they are up there with the best teams in all of the NFL. Well, let's say this real quick. Just throw this out as an aside. Um, the Rams, as impressive as they were the first three games of this year, were a flagrant disappointment. Oh, yesterday. oh okay. And, okay. And the reason yeah. I'm going to say that, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, okay. you can't target Cooper Cup twice as many times as you target everybody else and think that somebody is not going to figure that out. You got to be versatile if you're Matthew Stafford. And the only reason I bring that up is that you're too experienced mm -hmm. to be that transparent. And Arizona figured that out compromise it, and the Los Angeles Rams are sending the message, if you lock down Cooper Cup, you got him. 
You got to fix that if you're Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford. Yeah, and, and, and they bullied him a little bit yesterday. Make, make no mistakes about it. They absolutely bullied him. But what's interesting to me, what's interesting to me is this, that you can see the error in your ways and jumping on that boat on the Rams and then having to jump off that boat of the Rams. I'm not going to tell you about jumping on this Cardinal boat. You know what I mean? Because with what they got coming, you maybe have to jump off that Cardinal boat. Mm. They, they got San Francisco, uh, Cleveland, Green Bay, you know, uh, Carolina. And in week 17, they got yeah. some boys coming. They, you know what I mean? So they got, some t- they got some teams that they have to play coming. And this point that you make, this point that you make, greatness is every week, man. It's every week. It, you, you, the Rams give it to you one week. They take it away the next week. Mm-hmm. Now, 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 the Cardinals have given it to you, and that's why I talked about the people that they are playing are giving it to you. But will they be able to give it to you every week, week in and week out? After a high Nobody's emotional win, the Rams won a high yeah. emotional win last enough. week, and then they came back and lost. No, I'm not talking about going 17-0. Right. I'm not talking right. about going 17-0. I'm talking about being able to stabilize. Consistency. Right. Dan, where are, you, consistency. where are you on that, what, what Michael is just speaking to? Yeah, I think what we're seeing is that in regards to the Cardinals and their ability to one be consistent, week, they take it this away is something the next that we've week. seen over the no, first no, month no, of the season. No, 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 the Cardinals have given it I to you, and that's why I talked them, about the come people that they are Kingsbury. playing against. And that's the biggest growth for this football team, a tie with Kyler Murray's performance as a thrower and their production on the offensive line. But 100% it's about Cliff Kingsbury. This is a team that's going to condemn to win this division. This is a team that's going to be into the playoffs. Concerning loss for the Rams, no. Number one, you're not going to turn the football over twice like that early in the football game. And then number two, Matthew Stafford's not going to get outplayed often. Kyler Murray outplayed him yesterday. That will not be the case on a consistent basis.